Welcome from Munich, where we have again something new and it's called the TerraTech Audio Rescue. Now this is quite interesting because you can see here uh, you will be able to rescue your tapes. So I have a lot of tapes from my childhood with some um, child stories on them. And my dad also has some tapes from his DJ times where he used tapes for, of course, playing music at the high school and in college a little bit. Um, so this is what you can use for maybe having those old songs now in MP3s if they are not on Spotify, Deezer or any other of those platforms. You just want for them for your MP3 collection. And this is also actually also works with um, 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 LPs and CDs. So you can just use uh, this uh, with an external port, external cable to plug in your LP player. And then um, you can also record those. And it ac actually would split the music uh, files, of course, when one song ends and the next song starts um, by itself. And you have also <clears throat> batteries here included and it will have a maximum a uh, resolution or not resolution uh, bit rate of 128 kilobytes which is actually not that much and it doesn't say it actually here on the box i think at least on the outside um, but yeah that's actually not that much and it's not variable bit rate so that's a little bit sad so anyhow let's take a look what's inside the box and then let me tell you a little bit how i use these and what my experience was because it was mixed actually because the price is not that high, about 40 bucks is the price in Germany of this TerraTech Audio Rescue, uh, but um, <clears throat> the quality was not perfect. So you have a quick start guide here in German, on the top there is more uh, French and uh, English on the bottom. Then the next thing you will see here is the device itself. Let me put this to the side, take a closer look at that in a second. First we have a few cables, like for example here your uh, chinch cable with a 3.5mm um, cable so you can plug in, uh, plug this into an external device I think, or the other way around, also chinch and 3.5mm port, but yeah, as I said the other way around. Then you have here some headsets, you can also listen to what you're recording when you're recording at least a tape, um, otherwise uh, there's only just one audio in, audio out. Um, so that's only possible to listen to your tapes with these or with any other headphones and these actually feel quite cheap and they sound quite cheap so I would not recommend using these but at least they are inside the box but I guess this is like something of a 10 cents cost for the company and then we have something interesting here you don't need to use AA batteries which are actually also inside the box but I already put them inside the tape player you have here also your uh, power source via USB so you can plug the player into your USB port on your computer. <coughs> Sorry. So then we have your quick start guide here in English. This is how it looks like. With the AA batteries it tells us it has about two hours of battery life. But of course as I said you can just plug them into your computer. French. And then we have your little service card, so you can just register your product at TerraTech. So that's about the content. And then we have here the rescue player. So on this side we have your 3.5mm, or not the 3.5mm, your, your power plugin, if you want to plug it into your computer uh, for power. On the top you have here your tape player settings, like forward, backward, play, um, um, pause and directory and something with uh, I think reverse or replay or something like that I'm not actually sure what that's for then on this side the most important things like for example the aux port uh, for all the cables I showed you then you have here your volume rocker and here you have your, three, uh, your TF micro SD card slot so you can see here I can just now insert the 32 gig micro SD quite easily. What actually doesn't work is uh, standard SD cards and 64 gig or larger SD cards. So 32 is the max, but that's definitely enough because an MP3 with a three, four minute runtime is about three megabytes or four megabytes. So 32 gigs is way too much for uh, maybe even a hundred tapes um, that you would record. So then also you can just pull this up and then this opens up and you can see here the tape player where you can just hit play now. And you will see that it starts spinning on one side and if I would say reverse of course it would, uh, of course it would spin the other way around. Um, now one problem here is that um, I heard after recording and actually my dad heard also who is a, a little bit more of an <coughs> audio freak uh, that when 
um, this head hits the, the tape, you can actually hear how it records and how it uh, listens to the, the music. So there's a little bit of a, a background noise inside which is not that great and the same problem appears when you plug it into your computer. We tried it with three, four different computers and um, there's also a little bit of a um, strange sound when you have it uh, just being plugged into your computer in the background of the um, music that you're recording. Now that's not that annoying if you have a child's tape with some stories on them but for real good music um, that you want in good quality, that's of course a problem. Um, actually, what I didn't show you on the inside is that you can of course take this little plastic thingy off and then you will see here your AA batteries inside the box uh, or inside already, but they are of course usually outside. We just tried it uh, because maybe the sound quality is better than <clears throat> with over the computer power. It's a little bit better, but you still have the problem with the noise coming from the head. And what you can also actually do is you don't even need a computer as they said on the box you can listen to everything that you recorded here from the device itself so you have here all your mp3 player and um, thingies uh, buttons so you can just plug in your headphone and listen to uh, what you just recorded or use this an mp3 player on the go which would be quite weird because it doesn't, doesn't even have a display but what the hell so yeah so my feeling is that if they will sell a bit here by TerraTech because doesn't say much about that it's not that high resolution sound on the box and it uh, sounds quite good um, I was excited to get this but the uh, mediocre sound quality fits them um, low price so yeah this is the TerraTech audio recorder too much tuning in or audio rescue I'm sorry till next time please tune in again don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and maybe I will find something better than this to record my um, tapes but it will be probably a little bit more pricey till next time thank you much for tuning in and bye